sound the horn. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Mauricio, I think we are live. So we'll go ahead and get this thing going. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit of music on just for the next 40 seconds. And I am going to check real quick here and just make sure we are live. Um, yep, we sure are. Excellent. Guys, we're going to get going here in about 20 seconds. If you are logging on, be sure to let us know where you're watching from. Um, in fact, let's see here. I just need to pull up one last thing. We've got a few seconds here, Mauricio, and we're going to get going, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> awesome. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Trevor Daly with MagMod, and today I'm joined by Mauricia Ureña. Mauricio, thanks for being here. Hi, Trevor. How are you? My <laughs> pleasure to be here. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great. Hey, Mauricio, I, I, I hit you with English there, but I know we're going to actually do a little mix of Spanish and English, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I try to do my best, okay? <laughs> I love it. I love it. For those who don't know Mauricio yet, Mauricio is watching, or he's actually coming to us from Costa Rica. Um, and so uh, English is his second language. Uh, Spanish, or say, Espanol is su primer idioma, ¿no? <laughs> Así es, el español es el, uh -huh, el español es el idioma principal acá en Costa Rica. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much again, Mauricio. I'm going to throw a few little questions, our, our, our comments up here. We already got, uh, let's see, I'm going to just drop these out of here real quick. We got uh, Jeff. Lopez, he says, "Hey, buddy, congrats!" And yeah, Dave Thomas, un buen amigo. <laughs> oh yeah, he yeah. says he's watching from the Chicago Burbs. I appreciate you guys being here. You guys, as you're tuning in, definitely let us know where you're watching from. This is going to be another one of those short "How I Shot It" editions. So we're going to bring Mauricio on. For those who don't know, we started this last week. The idea is, I would like to feature as many of you talented photographers in the Magmod community as possible. If that means we're doing maybe three of these episodes a week. I would love to do that. And last week, and I brought up the idea, Mauricio is like, hey, you want to do one in Spanish? And of course, <laughs> estoy listo. <laughs> vamos, a pon vamos a poner a practicar a Trevor el español. Sí, es <laughs> <Es> cierto. <laughs> so guys, today, as we're talking, I'm going to try to do a little bit of translation kind of back and forth. And Mauricio, you actually have very good English. I've, I've heard a little bit of it. So you're welcome to, even if you want to say something in Spanish and maybe tell everyone in English as well, and I can kind of help you out. But we're going to see if we can help both audiences today and kind of bring English and Spanish into this. Um, we got, uh, oh yeah, Jeffrey says, uh, former Costa Rico, fellow photographer. Yeah. Um, Aniket, I love this guy. He says, hello, everyone. Appreciate you being here. So um, let's do this, though. Before we actually get going on the show... Mauricio, let's like make sure everyone knows where to find you. And I'm going to pull up your website here. Can you tell everyone where this website's at? Uh, excuse me? Oh, can you just uh, t tell everyone where to find you online? Uh, donde, donde se encuentra okay. su página de internet y Instagram y todo yeah. eso. Eh, mi dirección es, bueno, www.forobymau.com, que, eh, que son mis iniciales. Mm -hmm. me, me encanta su y... página de internet. Tiene uh, lindos um, fotos y todo está súper lindo ahí. Me encanta. Muchas gracias. Sí, es, y, es una, una página pues que, que tuvimos ahí eh, dedicándole bastante tiempo para, para poderla eh, actualizar y demás. Y, y la verdad que sí, muy contento con el resultado. Está súper, súper lindo. Y aquí está su, su página de internet. Es lo mismo, ¿no? Ah, uh, foto Eso es by... el Instagram. Photo yeah. by Mau, ya. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Está super lindo. Así que, guys, go give him a follow. ¿Cómo se dice eso en, 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 en español? En dale español una, es dar, darle seguir. Dale seguir. Ah, yeah. Ok, perfecto. Dale seguir a la página. Sí, me encantará. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So, again, let me just, before we get going here, we got Ellie. Love Ellie. She was on our show not too long ago. We got Richard from Tax, Tax, Taxco, Taxco, Mexico. Eso, uh, México. Hola, México. <laughs> ahí está, ahí está. We got John Seals watching from the Kansas City suburbs. Appreciate you guys. And it looks like Mark Steven is actually tuning in from UK. So uh, thanks, wow. Mark, for being here. Excellent. Well, Mauricio, como hicimos la semana pasada, like we did last week, we're going to throw 10 minutes 
up here on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> and over that 10 minutes, we're going to talk about some images. In fact, Mauricio, I'm going to give everyone just a quick preview of some of the photos that we're going to talk about. Uh, voy a dar okay. como una, una prevista de todas las fotos de, de que, uh -huh. que vamos a hablar. Hay como cinco por ahí, no, seis, um, para que la gente pueda ver rapidito. Uh, you got some beautiful shots. We got some wedding shots coming up. You got the ring shot. You got this really cool, unique shot. Y, 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 I loved how these shots, simple portraits, but the things that you told me about them and how you put them together, I'm excited for people to learn. So, uh, con eso, Mauricio, ¿está listo? <laughs> Dele, su suena, el, suena el ring. <laughs> you need the ring? All right, I'll tell you what, yeah. I'm going to get the, uh, we'll get the, the boxing ring going, and uh, then I'm going to turn the mic over to uh, Mauricio. We got Esteban Gil also. Uh, ah, ¿Cómo se dice Esteban? Hi. hi to Esteban, claro. Yes. He's, he's awesome. Uh, we got Esteban. Ravi from India. Mira, Mauricio from India está, tu, uh, está mirando. We got all kinds of awesome Excelente. photographers. Okay, so Mauricio, yo voy a dar el start. Y, y siendo que vas a hacer en, en español y inglés, o sea, vamos a hacer los dos. Capaz pasamos un poco más de los 10 minutos, pero está bien eso. Um, <laughs> estoy animado a escuchar how you shot it. So I'm, I'm excited how you shot it. I just, for those who are tuning in again in English, I'm just saying we might go a little bit beyond 10 minutes since we're doing both English and Spanish, but I think Mauricio can do it either way. So Mauricio, here comes your start. That's <laughs> <laughs> <And>, it. <laughs> Bueno, eh, vamos a empezar por español, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Bueno, esta es una fotografía realizada recientemente, en, en la época de verano, estamos acá en, en, en Centroamérica, y bueno, en esta época del año eh, hay muy bonitos atardeceres, ¿verdad? Eh, esta es una boda en la cual, digamos, se hizo una, una sesión fotográfica previa durante el Golden Hour, eh, y después eh, de un cierto protocolo sacamos a la pareja para llevarlos a este campo abierto donde pudimos este, hacer unos retratos de ellos en el atardecer. De hecho, bueno, el, el, el lugar tiene mucho eh, animal salvaje, digamos no salvaje, sino animal libre, ¿verdad? Hay caballos, hay otras fotos en las que hay caballos involucrados en la, en la toma. Tal vez en esta se pueden ver allá como al fondo, ¿verdad? Sí. Este, y bueno, eh, para poderla fotografiar, lo que hicimos fue subexponer la, la luz ambiente para más que todo exponer al cielo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y este, una vez que hacemos eso, colocamos un flash detrás de la pareja de manera de separar eh, a, la, a la pareja del, de, digamos, del background, ¿verdad? Entonces, yeah. ahí, ese flash es, es eh, naked o, o digamos no tiene, no tiene ningún modificador. Y delante, ¿verdad? Se utiliza un, un flash eh, con un eh, Profo, eh, perdón, es un Profoto A1 con, con el Mac Grid y con el Mac Sphere de frente, ¿verdad? Es para eh, iluminar la pareja, la pareja de frente. Entonces así podemos tener una, una siempre me busca, me gusta tener como una tridimensionalidad eh, yeah. un poco en, la, en las fotos, ¿ok? Now, in English, let me, let me try it. Okay, uh, in Central America during this season, we have a, a pretty awesome um, sunsets. So uh, in this wedding, uh, we pick up the, the couple for a portrait session during sunset, and we went to a open field in which uh, we saw a lot of uh, cattle uh, walking around and, and, and some horses and, and that stuff. Um, and that's the, the the best place to see the the open field, uh, all the sky. And first of all, I shot this with a, a 16 to 35 uh, millimeter lens, mm -hmm. um, in order to to get all the the landscape. Uh, I first underexposed the ambient light, but like one stop maybe, and then I place a a Pro Photo B10 behind the couple, naked without any any modifier in order to uh, separate the uh, the couple from the background and yeah. get up to give a little bit of light in the in the in the ground as you can see like a like a, 
I don't know how to say it, like uh, three dimensional yeah. or yeah, exactly or ge ge geometrical uh, shape in the in if you can see those like a triangle there in the in the in the floor, yeah. um, and then uh, to light up the couple, uh, I bring a Proporo A1 with the Mac uh, the Mac grid and a Mac sphere, uh, like in a boom. Uh, like a like a boom shape, yep. and then I I take two shots, okay, one shot uh, with the light and one shot without the light, and then I bring up uh, those layers in Photoshop and um, mask out the the lights and and, and the assistant. I love that. I I think it's so important to have that light behind them because one, it creates that that nice mm -hmm. lit grassy area, um, which it's funny because mm -hmm. I normally don't like to light up grass, but it really works well here. And then also you create this shadow um, coming off their legs and that kind of draws your eyes. It's kind of like these lines from the grass and also from them kind of brings you right into them. Um, beautiful, beautiful shot, Mauricio. Thank you so much for sharing that. Your yeah, English yeah. was phenomenal, by the way. <laughs> so uh, thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, before we before we jump, before we jump on these next images, I just want to mention real quick, Derek. I love Derek. He's an amazing photographer as well. We got uh, he's tuned in from Tennessee. We got Russell from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Appreciate you being here. Um, hey, Robbie's asking Mauricio, um, if you use a MagMod CTO gel here, did you use one here? No, in this one, I, I didn't, I didn't do the, uh, didn't use the CTO gel, but I really love using them in some situations. Nice. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mauricio. Uh, ¿qué tal este imagen? <laughs> what about this? Ah, okay. Esta es una imagen simpática porque, eh, bueno, yo la, la había publicado en el, en el grupo, eh, tuvo bastante dinamismo y, y surgieron muchísimas consultas, ¿verdad? Eh, porque, digamos, eh, les surgió como la duda de cómo se hizo. Pueden ir a buscar el post, eh, ahí están los videos detrás de cámaras. Eh, ¿En, la, ¿En la comunidad en realidad, de Facebook? En la comunidad de Facebook del grupo de Magma. ¿De Magma? Eh, ok. De, de, ya. Y de hecho, es en realidad, el setup es re realmente sencillo, ¿verdad? Eh, para esto, yo lo que utilizo es un igual un, un flash con el, con el Mac Grid y con el Mac Sphere. Y uno parte de totalmente eh, subexponer toda la luz ambiente, absolutamente mm. toda la luz ambiente. Y esta foto son los zapatos colocados sobre una mesa de vidrio. La mesa de vidrio no tiene ningún tipo de, de fondo negro ni nada, sino que es simplemente un vidrio. Ok, entonces mi asistente eh, sostiene el flash levemente encima de los zapatos, pero un poquito hacia la cámara, ok, uh -huh. y eso es lo que crea automáticamente el reflejo. Una de las consultas que hacían cuando vieron era por qué no se ve el flash en, en digamos, reflejado en el vidrio, y realmente es por el ángulo en la que se está haciendo la toma, uh -huh. ¿verdad? que no permite que se vea el flash y es y, 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 y genera pues esta esta fotografía simétrica que resalta muy bien pues el, el accesorio verdad ajá uh -huh. okay let me let me show let me try in English okay <laughs> yeah yeah of course and I and I'm happy to help so just holler if you need any help okay well uh, this is a very basic uh, and and fun to do uh, setup it's really easy. I don't know why people get a little bit struggle with it, but it's really, really easy. Uh, first of all, I underexpose totally the, the ambient exposure. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I start from a totally black canvas, okay? Now, I add the enough amount of light to show up or, or reveal the subject that I am uh, photographing here, which is uh, these beautiful uh, wedding wedding shoes. Yeah. And I, I think, I, if I don't remember very good, but I think it's around F8 of, of light in order to, to totally black out all the, all the ambient in the room, in the wedding room. This is actually a, a glass table uh, in which I place the, the, um, the shoes. And then uh, my assistant hold uh, a flash with a Mac grid and the Mac sphere above and a little bit, uh, a little bit with the edge uh, yeah. coming to near the camera. Okay. Uh, if I didn't remember well, this shot was with a 35 millimeters lens. Let me let me 
let me grab here. Hey, Mauricio, um, I actually yeah. went to the Facebook group, and if you yeah. don't mind, I'm going to pull up real quickly here. I love Aniket. I, Aniket, I didn't know you speak Spanish. Absolutamente impresionante. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to run over to you. I, I found the post on Facebook, and um, yeah. in fact, I'll, I'll zoom in here. Let me let me get a little bit closer so we can see this. There, there you go. That's, that's the, the post. And here's the behind the scenes, so everybody yeah, can see. That's, that's um, it. I think I can zoom in. Well, maybe not. There we go. So you can see actually from this behind the scenes how, I mean, it's just a glass. Uh, and then you had the mag yep. sphere with the mag grid right over the top. It's a very lit environment, but you were able to make it dark, um, you know, by going, uh, uh, you said F8, I think is what you said. Is that right? F F F8 ISO 100 and uh, 35 millimeters. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah, um, and, actually, um, Dave mm -hmm. Thomas, and hopefully, Dave, hopefully this answers that question. Uh, he says, is there a black backdrop behind the shoes and how do you avoid refla flash reflection? No. So, yeah, there's no there's definitely no black backdrop. In fact, it was like a painting of a lion, it looks like, and, and some grass. Um, and then I guess to it's, avoid it's the reflection. Go ahead. Yeah, it's actually uh, the, the, the room is like a safari type of room. <laughs> It is decorated uh -huh. like African African uh, architecture inside, so it was a, a backdrop uh, li like you see there. Mm -hmm. It's like a desert or some desert uh, type of environment there. Yeah. In the so I literally block out everything. Just shot at F8, and you'll see a black photo. And from there, I start adding light. Yeah. I love it. Mauricio, I'm not even going to worry about this time. I'm going to throw this away here for a minute. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't um, worry. But hey, Mauricio, um, so tell me, Andy Crenshaw, he asked, do you remember the shutter speed? Um, I mean, when you're yeah, at F8 one... and ISO 100, it, it, it's pretty, you're making it pretty small and pretty dark. But do you remember the shutter speed by chance? Yeah, one uh, and 250 of a second. One over 250. Love it. And then yeah. Ellie. Eli pregunta, uh, unos zapatos tan preciosos como estos necesitan un tiempo especial. Qué bonito trabajo, Mauricio. <laughs> Me encanta. De definitivamente requieren un trabajo, un trabajo especial. Y bueno, eso fue yeah. lo que quisimos entregarle a, a esta pareja, que de hecho, pues ya, ya están recién de aniversario. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Mauricio, is this photo, this is done the same exact way, right? Es, es la misma boda, es the, the exact same wedding and mm -hmm. the exact same setup in the exact same place nothing changed only the lens because this is with a macro 105 uh, macro lens love it that's awesome Mauricio um, yeah. thank you so much for, for sharing that and again guys if you have any questions about these um, you know feel free to to holler at us um, I'm gonna jump into this next shot because I think this one's really cool um, is, is, uh, this next one is, is, is different. Um, or say, is, is the proximal photos muy, is different. Me encanta como yeah. hiciste. But I say globals de, de algunos luces or algo así. Um, <laughs> so how'd you shoot this Okay, one? sí. Mira, esta, eh, bueno, yo particularmente siempre trato de hacer primero un scouting en, en las locaciones donde voy a realizar eh, las bodas o los eventos. Y esta particularmente, eh, si vieran la fotografía, este... De, del lugar en la luz ambiente esto es, eh, realmente es una escalera ¿verdad? Eh, que lleva un, a un, obviamente a un segundo piso y lo que vi fue el patrón que genera esa lámpara ¿verdad? y entonces mm. yo dije qué bonito utilizar esa, esa lámpara o esa, esa iluminación de esa lámpara para en, enmarcar a la pareja ¿verdad? y para esta fotografía lo que hicimos, bueno ya obviamente la, la, la foto era un poquito más de noche entonces digamos es más fácil subexponer totalmente y, y sacar un poco la luz de la lámpara y a la pareja simplemente lo que les disparamos fue un flash con un Mac Snoot ¿verdad? que muchas veces el, el Mac Snoot eh, cuesta como, como encontrarle como en qué aplicaciones utilizarla bueno, el, el Mac Snoot a mí me gusta mucho porque aísla eh, completamente y focaliza la luz en un punto específico, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ok. Let me do it in English. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ok. Uh, I love to do uh, some scouting during my, my pre-wedding pre uh, scouting uh, mm -hmm. in order to see interesting 
patterns or uh, um, architectural structures in order to me to have some interesting composition or some different angles or something, right? Yeah. So uh, in this case, I saw these stairs, which has in the middle that lamp, which is a hanging lamp in, in, in that kind of uh, a pattern. And I saw that immediately that it could be a cool shot doing there. So I imagine during my scouting, uh, placing the couple in, in, in that place, which you see in the photo, Mm -hmm. And and I already knew that I'm going to use the snoot there because I only want a little bit of light exactly over them. So uh, the photo was uh, this photo was taken, um, uh, and maybe I can I can pull it out the the behind the scenes photo in the in the comments uh, later, so in order you can see it. Um, mm -hmm. I I I shot uh, this a little bit at night. And and it, it was easy to underexpose all the environment that you would you see uh, what's ah oh, there there you go that's the behind the scenes uh huh you find it <laughs> yeah I, I I found it on your Instagram here <laughs> yeah sure oh awesome so uh, I placed the the couple in the middle of the stairs as you see there and uh -huh. since it's night all the the windows and everything was very dark. And if uh, and once you go to 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 edit the photo, you just um, black out a little bit of whatever things with bit of light showing up, and and paint it uh, more to see a more black background. Yeah. But if you see the raw, you will see the the photo as it is. And I did I and I did a little bit of tweaks in order to see more. At a, a dramatic uh, place. Uh huh. I love do that. I do, do it. Do I do it right <laughs> in English? Yes. Yes. You actually explained it very okay. well, and I love this behind the scenes because it really gives us a view as to like how what it looked like and how you where you place the couple and how you use the mag snoot um, yeah, to really actually, pull them do, out. Do you do you see do you see in the behind the scenes photo? I put it in the video again. Uh, uh, oh, is there a video here? You, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, in that photo, do you see uh, in 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 the or, or in the right side of the photo? Do you uh -huh. see the, the rail and yep. you see some hands there? Yep. Yep. At the end. Okay, that's the place from where the sh the, the flash was shot was was placed and shot into the couple. Nice. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. What a what a cool image, and I love the behind the scenes because you can really appreciate you know what went into it and the creativity behind it. Um, uh, yeah. Jeff was asking, can we see the original? I think, Jeff, I think that, that behind the scenes kind of gives you an idea. Um, I imagine any kind of original before any editing is just kind of darkening down the windows probably. Um, but, mm -hmm. but Mauricio, if you have anything that you want to share, you're welcome to share it later on. Um, Har Harshal, Harshal, did I say that right? Uh, he says, wow. And uh, Annie Kitts, <laughs> I love it. Very nicely thought out. Um, está super bien. Mauricio, me encanta. Vamos a sí, mirar este mira, próximo. Yo, yo, oh. yo. Espera, yo, yo sí les invito a todos, digamos, que para, para este tipo de fotografías es muy importante a veces salirse como del patrón usual, ¿verdad? Y observar cosas eh, como líneas, como, como lámparas, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y jugar un poco con eso, eh, incluso este también eh, utilizar, buscar hacer como reflejos, ya sea con un espejo pequeño pegado al lente o cosas así, de manera ya. de poder generar este tipo de fotografías muy 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 interesantes y que a la gente les gusta porque no es fácil encontrar ese tipo de fotos eh, usualmente. Ya, yeah, te hace muy diferente cuando hace algo como bien creativo. Uh, y los lugares, los uh, lugares donde saque las fotos uh, de los casamientos, sí. cuando ellos ven eso, ellos dicen, wow, qué diferente es este fotógrafo. Es muy es elevado con, de los demás, ¿no? O sea, mejor Exacto. de los demás. I was just, exactly. I was explaining to Mauricio, when you do something creative like this in an environment where, you know, you're doing it at a clubhouse or you know, a wedding venue and they've seen every single photo that every wedding photographer has ever shot there. And they're kind of like, okay, they all pretty much shoot the same, but you do something different like this. It really separates you and, and it kind of elevates you. Um, so it's certainly it's a great way to think outside the box. Exactly. 
Love it. Um, in fact, Derek actually even says, beautiful shot. My goal is to add more of these types of shots to my weddings this year. Chandeliers and available venue lighting. I totally agree with Derek. I need to do more of that too. And then Lisa says, incredible. Um, so thank you guys for these comments. We really appreciate it. It just kind of helps the flow with the show when we know that you guys are there and you have questions and things. So we appreciate you guys. Mauricio, um, this image, I, I, I love it. It's such a, it's a, I, I, I hate to say the word simple, but it's a, it looks like a graduation photo or a senior photo of some kind. But I, yeah. I, when you talk to me about this image, I just I, I had to share it with everybody. And I love how you, something so simple, but yet it made such a huge difference. So tell everyone about this shot. We'll let you start in Spanish. Okay. Eh, bueno, sí, en realidad, digamos, eh, esto es un lobby de un hotel, ¿verdad? Eh, que si, digamos, eh, vieras la foto en, en, o vieras en la luz ambiente, en realidad son paredes blancas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ahí es cuando quizás eh, el utilizar los geles de color ayudan a darle un mejor contexto a la fotografía. Y en este caso, por ejemplo, utilicé el gel Teal, que de alguna manera hace un poco de match con el color del vestido de la, de la chica, ¿verdad? Y entonces le da una dimensión diferente y volvemos a lo que mencionabas hace un rato, Trevor, donde... Uh -huh. Este, tal vez has visto fotografías en ese mismo lugar, pero las ves todas iguales. Una cosa como esta definitivamente hace que llame la atención, ¿verdad? Y yeah. obviamente, bueno, ya el, re, el resto de la iluminación, este, él, ella tiene una, un, 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 un softbox en el, en el lado eh, izquierdo de la cámara con grid, ¿verdad? Para uh -huh. generar el, 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 el short line que ves ahí sobre la cara. Y también tenés un, un strip bank. Este, en la parte de trasera que hace el, el little el, el highlight que te ves ahí en el, en el brazo, ¿verdad? Yeah, I love okay. that. <clears throat> Now the English. In English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, in English. Okay, this is a common lobby uh, setup, uh, which is very very uh, simple. And in order to to get a different look. I, I, this is the time when I really love to use the, the MAC gels. Uh, in this case, I use the, the teal MAC gel in order to uh, try to match a little bit uh, the color of the dress mm -hmm. with, the, with the background in order to, uh, as Trevor mentioned before, uh, that uh, your photos can pop uh, when you see similar photos do it uh, done in the similar in a similar spot, right? So, and the rest of the the light diagram or uh, what I use there is a, a softbox with a grid uh, for her face mm -hmm. and a strip, band, a strip bank with a grid as well in order to control the light and uh, the light that you see on her arm uh, yeah. in, uh, in a little bit of highlight to separate her from the, from the background. Yeah. You know, Mauricio, that, that gel to me makes such a difference um, because without it, it would have just been kind of a, a plain backdrop. In fact, it's kind of funny. Um, it, it, you know, this right behind me, I have a, a blue light and it, it cracks me up when I turn this off. Um, how plain yeah. it looks. It looks just yeah. so plain. And, and granted, I mean, I can get by, by with this, but it kind of it takes me back to this photo here where you could have had a plain backdrop, which would have looked, you know, yellow, neutral colors. Yeah, that, yeah. But you added that beautiful gel and it just really, you know, it, it really took that photo kind of to the next level and kind of made something different. So I hope that when people look at this, they get inspired, you know, by you uh, to just add that little bit of color, a little bit of pop. And I love, I love how you actually matched it with her dress too. Great, great job, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, actually, I have other photos from, from that same event in which mm -hmm. I change the teal color with the blue color. Mm -hmm. And because the, 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 other, the other senior was using a, 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 a bit of a red dress. Uh -huh. So in order to do a contrast, uh, it, it was very, very, very nice. And the, the photo looks totally different. Yeah. yeah. If that, I did it, it in the same place. <laughs> That's, that's awesome. Mauricio, uh, Laura asked, was there any ambient light coming in? Yeah, sure. A little bit. Uh, it is a, a lobby hotel, a, a common hotel lobby. Doesn't, and you need to, similar, underspose by a stop, uh, at least a stop, or maybe further away. And then yeah. once you got there, 
you add the uh, the light in order to develop the subject you are you are photographing. Yeah, I love that. Awesome. Mauricio, I apologize. The camera was sitting there on me and I'm nodding my head. I'm just looking at the picture and, and enjoying it. I should have switched back over to you. Um, <laughs> for those who are watching this, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed how we've kind of up leveled the show. I've been really working hard to try to make it different. Um, the funny thing is, is as we're doing it, I have to kind of produce the whole show, click the buttons, change the cameras and the scenes and everything. But it's <laughs> it's really it's been a lot of fun and I love getting to know uh, the photographers, and I hope that you guys ever enjoy seeing your comments pop up and everything. So it's been definitely let me know, you guys, if you're watching these and you have certain improvements or things, or even you just want to hear better music in the beginning. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me know. Mauricio, can we talk about last image here before we let you go? Yeah. Sure. Awesome. Okay. Bueno, esta es eh, una fotografía corporativa, ¿verdad? Este, que, eh, para la cual fui contratado para fotografiar a, a este gerente. Eh, y bueno, actualmente para esa foto eh, utilizamos cuatro luces. Igual eh, partimos de aniquilar por completo la luz ambiente y a partir de ahí es una luz de fluorescente blanca normal que puedes encontrar en cualquier oficina. ¿Verdad? Y bueno, este, dado que la empresa esta tiene en sus colores del logo el azul y el verde, lo que quisimos fue incorporar esos tonos en ese, en esa, este, en ese vidrio que muestra pues el logo de la empresa y un poco de qué se trata. Esta es una empresa bursátil. Eh, entonces colocamos eh, dos flashes detrás del vidrio que es como una sala de reuniones con el gel azul y con el gel verde, que genera ese efecto que ves en el vidrio, ¿verdad? Que hace un muy buen contraste con el sujeto. Y el sujeto igual, este, utilizamos un, el, el softbox con el grid, de manera de focalizar la luz sobre, eh, sobre su cara. Y para separar al sujeto del fondo, utilizamos un strip bank with, eh, con grid para poder hacer la luz que se ve en el cabello y en los hombros de, de la persona. ¿Ok? Uh, let me try in English. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a corporate headshot uh, of this manager. I was hired to, to, to do this shot for a commercial um, publication they are going to do in a, in a local, local magazine. And uh, in order to, to show up something different and pop from, from everything, I went to, to this. So this is the main lobby of this, of this um, company. And uh, what I what I like to do here was to use the gels uh, in order to match the logo of the company colors uh, and to show up a little bit of the of the of the what it says and you can see there like a bull a bull of, of a bull of Wall Street because this is a company of, of um, stakeholders and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, I place behind that window uh, two flashes, one with a green gel and the other one with a blue gel, in order to show that that um, that window with that uh, logo and stuff. And for light up the the subject, I use a softbox with grid uh, to light up the face and to separate him from the background, which is a little bit dark. Uh, I use a strip bank in order to light up the his hair and his shoulders as you can see in the in the photo i love this i mighty sue i would have never guessed uh when i saw this photo that you had added the gels in there i i mean i love that that kind of green and blue uh the way they mix but i would have thought that this was just a you know like like a wall like a logo or lights coming off of it uh the fact yeah, that you actually, added that in there go ahead mm -hmm. Actually, you can you can you can find this is another post I did in the Magma community, and uh -huh. you can see there some some behind the scenes video over there, in the comments. So maybe you can you can uh, find those and and show it to the people who can watch them. Yeah, you know what? I'll I'll pull it up really quickly here. Um, and yeah. And Mauricio, I love I love how um, the the light on his hair as well. I think it's so important to add that little bit of extra uh, light that just really separates yeah. them from the backdrop. Um, yeah. So so good. Let me see here, Mauricio. I, I have oh here it is right here. Um, okay. 
here. In fact, you know what? Let me share my screen. I'll go back over and I'll, I'll show everyone kind of the, it looks like, uh, so guys, if, if you're in the MagMod community, um, you can always, I love using the little search function over here. And so if I'm looking for something, I'll just click the little magnifying glass. I'll search the name, um, you know, for an image or something. And then it says, uh, here's a BTS video, the first shot. Uh, let's see if we can pull this up. Oh yeah. Look at that. So there's your strip box. Oh my goodness. My yeah. I would have never guessed that it was such a small little area like that. <laughs> yeah. Very, very small area. Yeah. And you can see in the, in the other video, you can see the flashes with the gel. Well. Uh-huh. Oh, is there, there a second behind the scenes here? There, there you go. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh. And there is another one. There's a, a third one. Oh, is there? Nice. So you yeah, got the little the, that's, soft boxes. That's the ambient the, light. See? Uh -huh. That's the ambient light. Okay. Let's look for one more here. That one. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. That's and so you're using these. You can see the... Mm -hmm. Nice. And you put some grids on there as well, just to kind of focus that light. Yeah. Oh, so you exactly. have those behind it. I gotcha. Oh, okay. It's kind of yeah. shooting to the glass. <laughs> How cool. No, they are not shooting to the glass. They are shooting to the wall and they reflect the colors in the wall. Because gotcha. if I show, if I shot that over the, the window, you are going to see the pop of the flash in the photo. So mm. that's, that's why you need to uh, shut them, not exactly directly to the glass. I love that. That's awesome, Mauricio. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, man. Good, <laughs> good little tips and, and great. I love seeing that behind the scenes. Um, you know, sometimes I, I don't get to see every post that comes through the MagMod community and I miss these. And it's, I love it. Um, boy, this year. Hey, and, 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 oh, go ahead. No, yo iba a decir que, que siempre trato de, de sacar el video detrás de cámaras o por lo menos una foto detrás de cámaras porque yo sé, digamos, que para muchos de nosotros eh, estas cosas ayudan mucho y generan muchas ideas o muchos tips que son pra, eh, bastante prácticos. Y bueno, cuando, cuando te escribí, digamos, para, para hacer uno de estos en español es también porque usualmente encuentras muchos videos en, en inglés ¿Verdad? Y entonces también, bueno, la comunidad latinoamericana este, eh, es de, de mucha ayuda, pues también tener algún tipo de recurso así en, en español. Yeah. No, I love that. Mauricio, I, I, so for those who, um, uh, just to translate to English, Mauricio is saying he, he loves doing those behind the scenes videos so that, you know, everybody can participate and see it. And that, you know, the, the Latin community, he likes doing these videos in Latin as well because they, you know, we need we need some great teachers and leaders and so forth. I actually there's one Mauricio that uh, you might know. Um, I love this guy's work as well. Uh, Randall Mena. Uh, he says, nice to see another Costa Rican using MagMod products. Yeah. And then uh, Salud, we got saludos a Randall. Yeah. yeah. And we got Will Bridges. Wow. I wish I would have known this before my wedding this past weekend. I think he, he wrote that comment when I think we were talking about the the teal color behind the dress. Um, <laughs> yeah. Katie Allison says you rock. Uh, Ellie says very Thank good info on the corporate shot. And we even got Thank Harshal. You, he says great with a bunch of emoticons. I love it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, Mauricio, you just barely made the clock. I mean, like, oh, in fact, well, I, I can't even hear it. Oh, I was, <laughs> was going to do the, uh, we got the, uh, the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you, get, you get the bell. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I know we went a little bit longer than normal. In fact, I'm, I'm wondering if I can ever do a 10 minute show. Maybe I'll just have to do like one or two photographs. But but I think I think this was well worth every single minute. And, and I really enjoyed chatting with you, Mauricio, and, and getting to know you. I like I told everyone, I enjoy these shows because it gives me an opportunity to get to know other photographers. Um, your photos are incredible. Uh, you know, everybody. Oh, Will says the chandelier shot. Uh, Elizabeth Lloyd said, hey, guys, um, everybody's loving it. So, oh, you know what? There is mighty. So before I let you go, there is one last question here that I actually missed. Um, photo with the beautiful girl. I think he's referring to the senior shot here. Uh, yeah, did you use a CTO gel? No CTO gel there because okay. the, most of the ambient type was totally blackout. Got it. Got it. Uh, it the CTO gel is is handy when you are incorporating some kind of the ambient light with this yellowish tone inside the, the, the frame. If not, if you are totally blocking out, it, it is not necessary to use the, the CTO gel. Gotcha. 
Awesome. Well, hey, Mauricio, um, thank you again. I want to make sure I was going to pull up another screen, but I already I jumped off of it. Let's see if I can find it again. I was going to pull up your Instagram site so everybody can go. Here we go. I got it. Let me pull this up one last time so everybody can see it here. Uh, definitely go give Mauricio a follow. Uh, photo by Maug. Is that it? Yeah, um, that's my, 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 my name. Mauricio Alberto Ureña Garbanzo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I wish I had four last names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Trevor, y, y agradecerte el espacio, el que hayas este, tomado esta iniciativa también de participar a más miembros de la comunidad. Estoy seguro de que muchos tendremos, eh, van a tener igual la posibilidad de, de compartir su trabajo y de, y de mostrarle a la comunidad pues, de, la, toda la creatividad que hay en este grupo, ¿verdad? Entonces, de mi parte, sí, agradecerte el, el espacio y... Y bueno, eh, y a, a la orden para lo que para lo que necesiten y, y, a, y a todos los miembros, quienes quieran venir a Costa Rica, me escriben y con todo gusto. Un eh, país precioso que pueden disfrutar mucho. Me, me encanta eso. Me encanta como la comunidad de fotógrafos está tan fuerte, que la gente quiere ayudar uno a otro. Y también, como está diciendo, hey, si viene a Costa Rica, llámame y vamos a juntarnos y te Exacto. voy a mostrar todo de mi país. Esto... Eso de verdad para mí es algo muy especial, que la gente son tan amoroso y yo creo que el mundo necesita más de eso, ¿no? Así que gracias, gracias. Mauricio, por ser un ejemplo para nosotros. No, un placer estar por acá y, y gusto de charlar contigo hoy. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you again, Mauricio. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We really appreciate uh, spending this time with us here. Uh, Mauricio, you got a lot of new fans here. People are, are saying they, they loved it. Um, got very inspiring. Uh, you got Ellie says she's following you. Aniket says this is very good. Thanks, Mauricio and Trevor. Certainly appreciate you guys tuning in and and love the comments, love when you like and share and, and the emoticons and all that kind of stuff because it really, it means something to us when we know that there's other people watching and that it's worth the time. So uh, thank you so yeah, much. Sure. And Mauricio, just one last time, I just want to thank you. You did awesome and you're super inspiring and very talented. So thanks for spending the time uh, with me. Thank you. Thank you yeah. very much, Trevor. My pleasure. Absolutely. Whenever you guys, you yeah, absolutely. Guys, go give Mauricio a follow and uh, stay tuned. We'll do more of these How I Shot It's. If I can get ourselves on a good schedule, I'll try to do that. But again, if you guys have any suggestions on how we can make this show better for all of you, uh, definitely let me know. So thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks, Mauricio. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.